Hey guys, welcome back to King Vey Kumars. And today, I'm going to break down the Bears' loss to the Indianapolis Colts. But before we get into the video, if you guys could subscribe, like the video, and also leave a comment so that it helps to reach more people, and also watch to the end, that would really help out my channel and help me grow. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this month. So, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was this loss. And it's really tough, I would say. Because, you know, it just feels like we are making the same mistakes that we've been making since 2018, 2019. Where our offense just cannot click. It feels like we were at the same predicament we were with Mitchell Trubisky where this offense is still struggling. You know, and one thing I wanted to say is the defense we played is no joke. The defense was ranked the number one defense before getting coming into this game. And they definitely played really good, the Colts defense. Props to them. But... That offense keeps making the same mistakes. I mean, we didn't score at all in the third quarter. And we only had three points going into the fourth quarter with like two minutes left until An until Allen Robinson caught that touchdown. And, you know, you guys would think with Matt Nagy as an offensive coach, we can get it together. But for some reason, he can't. Now, I don't know if Matt Nagy should be fired. And I don't know how much to it's blame on him or the receivers or even the quarterback. But let's break down some stats and we'll readdress that question. So again, we lost today to the Colts 19 to 11 in just a devastating loss. And just looking at, at our stats, we had 216 yards. We passed for 241 yards. We rushed for 28 yards. We had 4.6 yards per play, 16 first downs. And we had a third down efficiency of 4 for 14, um, a fourth down efficiency of 0 for 0. Uh, we had 59 total plays. We allowed one sack. We punted it seven times. We had eight penalties for 103 yards. We didn't have any fumbles, but we did have a pick, and we only had the ball for 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Now, those stats are pretty gruesome. They're not the best stats, and you definitely want to see more production from that offense, from even the Bears in general, and even that defense too. You expect more from this deep, the defense that we hope would be at least similar to 2018's defense. And, you know, I think a great blame has to be Chuck Pagano. Even last year, I was telling people that Chuck Gunner should be fired. But for some reason, he's still on this team, and the defense has not been playing aggressively, and they're letting down big, big plays. And I'm a strong believer that if defense, this, if this, this defense um, keeps this going, they do have to fire. The Bears have to fire Chuck Pagano because he's not going to the right place, and he's not getting aggressive. And... We, this defense is in no way similar to where we were in 2018. And, you know, the players have to step up too. Even if the coaching is bad, like step up and be aggressive. There's no reason that we should have allowed 20 points to a guy like Philip Rivers, who's nearing the end of his career and a Colts offense that, you know, isn't really the best in my opinion. The defense should be where they were in 2018. So again, that defense has to step up. The players and the coaching both need to get better. Now, let's get into the offense. Again, that offense was not really good today. Um, scoring three points going into the fourth quarter with five minutes left is horrible. Like, there's no words to that. Like, you should be scoring at least every quarter seven points. And... When we face a really good team in four days from now to Tampa, we have to. Because Tom Brady's going to score. He's going to find a way. He's a go to score. And that deep, that offense has to find the rhythm quickly. We can't wait until the fourth quarter to turn on some magic. 
and score an insane amount of points. That's not going to work for b good teams like the Colts and the Bucks and the Packers and, you know, the Saints. We have to get this offense in check. Now, there was an interesting stat that's pretty concerning, and that's throughout these three or four games, we haven't scored at all in the third quarter. And that's just a really bad stat. And throughout these three and four games, other than a Giants game, um, our offense hasn't been able to find rhythm. And even in that Giants game, we haven't been able to play a full offensively scored, sc an offensively scored game at all this season. Like, our offense just shuts down in like the second half or the first half. And then they suddenly wake up in the fourth quarter. Like, that offense in the third quarter is horrible. And if you keep playing like this versus Tampa and really good teams, there's no doubt in my mind we will lose. Now, lastly, I want to talk about Matt Nagy. Um, Matt Nagy has got to step it up and make some better play calls. Like, running a wide receiver curl on that one play isn't really the best play that you should be calling. You should be throwing the ball or possibly running it with David Montgomery. Now, I did realize, do realize that the offensive line was pretty bad, which signifies even more that we should be passing the ball instead of running the ball. And, again, that offensive line still reminds me of that 2019 offensive line, at least this game. They did not look really good. They got, they were... The Colts defense was able to get to Nick Foles, able to get pressure, able to tackle David Montgomery, who only ran for 27 yards today, which is horrible. So, where do we go from here? Well, if I'm the coach of the Bears, I have to make my offense be able to score all four quarters. I have to be able to find some kind of offensive consistency. My offense needs to be able to score touchdowns, not field goals. And if you do want to score field goals, at least get to a field goal position like every single quarter instead of, you know, only scoring three points going into the fourth quarter with five minutes left. That offense needs to jump on early if you want to beat a team like Tampa. Right now, the main goal of our team should be, for the offense mainly, should be, hey guys, let's go out there and let's score. Okay, let's find a way to score. Nick? Make the necessary reads. David, you know, find the gaps. O-line, block for David Montgomery and Nick Foles. Receivers, do your job. Anthony Miller, you can't keep missing these crucial catches. And Cordell Patterson, when Nick Foles threw that deep ball, that was a great play by Foles, but it just bounced off the hands of Cordell Patterson. Our offense has to step up if you want to beat really good teams. And that defense also has to be more aggressive. Because if you're not aggressive versus Tampa and Tom Brady, again, like I've been stating, we will lose. Now, I'm not coming up on the Bears too much yet. A lot of you guys are saying, oh my god, we're done. Because, you know, we're going to be a bust. Let's go tank. Like, guys, it's just one game. Okay, sometimes a, bet a loss is better than a win because it teaches us what we have to improve on. Sometimes failure is better than success. Because failure leads us to success. If we can use this game, if we can get back on track, if this offense can finally click, we can get to that next level. So, I want to end it on that positive note. Thank you guys for watching. I know it wasn't the prettiest win, but, you know, hopefully we can turn it around versus Tampa. And if we can beat Tampa, I think we will all start to feel more confident about this team. So, let's go. And let's beat Tampa.